Hello there, Aries. This is going to be a reading for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Okay, let's see what's going on for you guys. Starting out, ooh, Ace of Cups. We're starting out with love. A lot of emotions here. Your cup overflowing with love and emotions. Okay, a new beginning here. Ooh, and it might be with a knight of coins. Taurus for Capricorn. This is the slowest knight. Slow and steady, dependable. They might be coming towards you, offering their cup of love here. And we do have something to do with work here. You may be taking a lot of time really focusing on your work. Or you might be a master at your trade or whatever you do here. You're really good at it, but this is a work card. And also in the past, you were felt abandoned, left out in the cold. Deserted, not included. Oh, but you got victory crowning you. You're getting attention for whatever you did in um, your work. Or you are in the spotlight. You're getting noticed. Okay, and wow, we have tempers coming in in the future. Balance. Patience. Whatever you need to balance or have patience for, you will have a temper says here. Sagittarius energy. Wow, we have Leo energy here. Sun. A lot of happiness. This is the happiest card in the deck. This is looking good. And then we have the star. You're shining bright. Now I would say with the six of wands and the star here, this is how people see you. You're shining bright. You're um, you're really in the spotlight. You're sh you know, there's this is also you wish come true, but it's like the nine cups with the major arc arcana of the nine of cups. This is like even more so. This is you know something you have no control over. This is happening for you. Wow. And we have the Empress. Nice cards. Look at all these majors. So this is your energy. Or it could be a Libra or a Taurus. This is at this time. You are doing really well. The sun is shining on you. The stars are in the, are twinkling in the sky. And you're one of those stars. And you are the Empress. So if you're the Empress, then that means that this is a very good time to start something new. Be very creative. It's a most one of the most abundant cards in the deck. And... You can create whatever you want here. And if, it's, if you want to start a family, you want to have a baby, it's a good time. If you want to start a new business, it's a good time. You're just very fertile at this time. And also, nine of coins. Wow, six of coins. And the lovers. This is a nice spread for you guys. Okay, so with the nine of coins, you could be single. And there might be someone that wants to share with you here. Even give and take with six of coins, you have the lover card, soulmate connection. Also, that's a choice card. This is also your being independent, doing okay. And at the bottom of the deck, there's a ten of swords. So it looks like an ending to something that was very painful. So something is over. These cards are beautiful. Okay, let's start clarifying. I'm liking this. Starting out with the Ace of Cups. How nice is that? Okay, why is the Ace of Cups here for Aries? Why do we have the Ace of Cups, please? Okay. Why do I get that you might meet someone in meditation? That could be. You could be going to a class that does meditation and you meet someone. But this is when you're taking time out and maybe reflecting. Or maybe you are meditating and manifesting and bringing love in. Because you are focused on that. It's also a time of just taking a little, um, maybe get some rest. Go on vacation. Take a retreat. Take a time out. Okay, why do we have this Knight of Coins? These cards have been sliding here. That's why I was doing the cloth, but it's, I could get a lot more done without the cloth. So I went to a table without cloth so I could get more done for you guys. Let's see, what about this Knight of Coins? Ooh, wow. Well, is that a contrast here? This one goes nice and slow and say This one comes running in real quick. You might have two people that are interested in you. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. They're both knights. They're coming towards you. I think you have two people coming. There's, this is a mess, messages come to you either way. One might become real fast. One might become real slow. Maybe it's not people. Maybe it's messages. Maybe you're going to get a message that's taking a sweet time. And another one that comes flying in. Okay. Look at this on the bottom deck. <laughs> I think you have a choice between two people. Okay. So let's see. We'll go with that. With that two coming up. What about the eight of coins? 
Why is it eight coins here? Ooh, your work is going to pay off big time. You have the Ten of Pentacles. This is going to be set for life. This is um setting up your legacy here. This is having a lot of money coming in. So whatever you're working on, putting the time into, it's going to pay off. Also, they could represent a long-term commitment. One of these two. <laughs> but this is right over the Eight of Pentacles, which I would say would have to do with your work and your money or finances. Okay, now... Why do we have the five of coins here in the past? Okay, ending to this. This is over. We have the ending here, too, that we started with. So being left out in the cold or abandoned is no longer. This is done. This was in the past. It's over. You put an end to it. And this is like crying over these lost cups, not seeing this behind you. But now we got the six of wands crowning you. So why is that here? Why is the six of wands here? Ooh, this is coming in quick. Whatever happening now, you're, this is like maybe you had to work real hard and you're really suffering and not able to pay the bills in the past. Well, your work is paying off because this is coming in and now you're going to find out about this. You're going to get either a promotion, a new job, or somehow money's coming in towards you and it's coming in quickly. This is also conversation back and forth too. Could be um, negotiating a new job or a raise or, or something. Let's see, what about this temper? And things are going to balance out. So let's see, why do we have tempers here? You've been patient. And here comes the offer. Page of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But this could be a new job coming in. It might not seem much at first being a page. But it could develop in something big because you do have the Ten of Pentacles here. Why do we have the sun here? Okay. Feeling trapped. Now, the, this card, this Eight of um, Swords, this person is really not trapped. They can untie these ties, they can move their blindfold, and they can walk right through these swords. So this is feeling trapped. There's happiness here for you. You just have to see. You have to take the blindfold off to see it. But there is happiness for you. Why do we have the Star card here? Ooh, wow. Double it up. Look at that. Wow, you, you are probably going to be super famous or people are really noticing you your, or your luck is just going to be out of this world. Your, every, your dreams and wishes are coming true. Double. And we have, look, a new beginning, the fool. And this is also Aries or Aquarius. So this, you're starting something new <clears throat> and it's bringing you a lot of fame and fortune, I would say, with the star here and the six of wands. Definitely. How about the empress? Why is the empress here? You're looking out at something. You're looking out. There might be somebody at a distance you're waiting for. Or there's a choice you have to make with the two. But there's if you're picking someone from the past, maybe. Because we have, this is a, to me, this is the past. This is a future. So with him holding the wand like that, he might be hanging on to the past, looking at the past, waiting for something to happen. Okay, what about this nine of coins? Hmm. So I again, I'm feeling this is the end to this because this is over, and this person's independent and doing fine now. So I'm thinking that's the end to the heartache. Now, why do we have the six of coins? Ooh, and look at that! A, another one confirming it with yeah. You're there, there's going to be an even give and take now. I don't think you were getting paid fairly before, or something wasn't coming your way, and you're working really hard. That's changing. Why do we have the lover's card here? Oh my gosh, do you believe this? I can't believe this. We get the lovers again. Unbelievable. And that yeah, there's definitely going to be a long-term commitment here for you guys. Someone wants to get married. This is Taurus energy. And there's going to be an even. Both of you guys are both, I mean, you got this double too. This is amazing. Can't believe this. Okay, let's see what else we can get for you guys. I'm getting so excited for you. Wow. This is nice. Ending to all this pain and suffering and, and lack of. And you're coming into this. Oh my God. You're going to have choices with those lovers. That's amazing. I can't believe those cards came out. Okay. We have two of swords. You have to, have to make a decision. Judgment. Mm -hmm. And Queen of Cups. So you might have a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces that you have to decide if you want to be with. 
judgment card. This is also if this you you're tapping into intuition, or this person is very intuitive, very loving, very caring. What else do we have for you guys? Boy, this is exciting. I still I can't get over those cards coming up again like that. Magician, strength. Okay, so we have Aries, Aquarius. So this is you getting your strength, being strong and gentle, and also I think there's someone thinking about you or. Four Swords is like, um, I don't know, I really do feel like you're meditating here, bring in this energy here. So this could be this too, but I think this is someone thinking about you day and night, really on their mind. When they go to sleep, they think about you. When they wake up, they think about you because they're looking at the heart when they go to sleep. When they're looking at the heart when they wake up, oh, this wanted to pop out. Okay, so why do we have this Three of Swords here? Let's see, we have... Judd, hang oh okay so now seeing things in different perspective you're waiting for something to happen but it's bringing in, so this again you're moving away from this three of swords because now you see things differently you might have been holding yourself back in this um feeling of lack maybe after you started meditating your luck started changing and at work and things started happening even though you're putting the work in you weren't getting the results because you were thinking in this um scarcity mindset so you change the way you're thinking, because if you change the way you think, especially when you have the magician, you're able to manifest. And so you can manifest whatever you want. If you want to manifest lack, well, then think about lack. If you want to manifest abundance, then think about abundance. Act like, you know, fake it until you make it type of thing. And this is you being single and um, also independent because you see things in a new, in, um, new perspective. So you're able to take care of yourself. Let's put one more roll in here for you. This is going really quick though. It's going to be a short read, but it's going to be packed with a lot of information. <laughs> Let's see here. Okay, choices. Tower. And wow, you got the star again in every deck. See, you are definitely, whatever's happening here, there's choices that you're going to be making and something's going to shock you. I think you might be shot into stardom or something here because you got the star three times. Your wishes are going to come true. And you know, the star comes after the tower. So, wow, look at that. Someone is trying to be sneaky around you, but they're going to get caught. Every time I see this card, I think they're getting caught because they're under the moonlight. You can see them. They're not hidden. They're leaving little clues and someone's squawking about them. Squawking about them being there. I want to just look at this for a minute here. I'm really fascinated with this. So here you have choices. You're going to pick a cho something that helps you grow here. But this is going to, either this is going to shock everybody or it's going to shock you. But something's coming in. It's going to be really shocking. But it's going to bring you your wishes, your dreams come true. I also feel that a lot of you are really connected with this. Um, hear how this. The, she has this like string going up to the heavens uh, and here's a star like she almost maybe she's lassoing a star but the whole thing is that during this meditation i think when you guys are really meditating and focusing you're bringing in this this love this um this abundance it's like all your wishes coming true i think you're everything that you want is going to be coming in for you and you are the empress here too so it's like you can create whatever you want you're very fertile at this time so please 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 keep things positive because if you start going back to that lack of you're going to get more to, to be you know you're going to get more to worry about more to be that there's lacking because you're putting an end to this there's some, something that's going to happen real quick now by the work here put in and by focusing here and we do have two people coming towards you here so but you do have the lovers maybe that's why you have the lovers twice you might have two lovers yeah <laughs> because you have the these two people coming towards you you got to make a decision and you got the lovers here and, and you got they both want to balance things out you might have a very difficult time trying to make a decision we do have tempers here trying to balance things out too oh boy okay let's see what signs we're dealing with <laughs> that is something what a read Woof. okay what signs can Aries be dealing with? Sagittarius? Sagittarius? Libra? I, I don't believe there's a lot of doubles here for you. you. Things might be coming towards you in doubles. Leo? Okay, this one doesn't want to go back in. I was going to put it back in. Libra, see, look at this. It did not want to go back in. <laughs> and let's see what's at the bottom. And Pisces. Okay. So you could be dealing with Sagittarius, Sagittarius, Libra, Leo, Libra, Pisces. 
and this could be your person or persons um, and you, this could be in your chart their chart could be other people around you just take it how it resonate take what resonate leave what doesn't I hope you take this whole thing because it looks really good okay please leave me a comment let me know if this resonates with you please give me a thumbs up if you like this video and I appreciate all your likes shares and subscribes and I hope to see you guys again real soon thank you so much